We are gonna be playing against Chambik. Uh, Chambik is a wonderful opponent, by the way. Love playing him. So, I am ready. He seems like very inconsistent in the in his performance. I'm not really sure why. Maybe he's like limit testing in some ways, and sometimes it doesn't really work out that well. Uh, but sometimes he's either yeah, sometimes he performs like really well, and sometimes he's just like super weak. Every single, uh, I mean, like completely. Uh, but <laughs> I'm gonna be interested in seeing what kind of Chamek I run into today. You know? Yeah. Let's also try to go for some late game. I really feel like going for so for some late game matches. You know? So, I'm gonna be going in with the approach of, like, immediately setting up late game, so I'm gonna be doing some things with that in mind. Well, then again, late game is actually kind of confirmed by having middle town, and if I want to confirm middle town, then I have to, like, play early game in order to secure late game. It kind of turns out a little bit weird, but we'll see what we can do. If I have, like, any sort of opportunity to force a late game, then I will be trying to use those opportunities. That's what it comes down to. I think I'm gonna pass. Both these factions are actually pretty good. I'm not even sure which one we're betting for. Hey, Stajun, which one would you bet for? I guess you would bet Fortress. That's my inertia. I mean, that's what I assume. 15, I guess that's gonna be a pass, and that's gonna be like minus 4.1k. But like, Rampy is really strong too. Yeah, you see, he picks Rampy, oh my god. So I get like a rich 4, so we can go late game easily here. Well, I say easily, but we have to roll Diplomacy. So with the intention of going late game immediately, I'm gonna be picking up Diplomacy the moment that I get offered. No skip load today. No skip load today. Hey, Melon! There he is! Yeah, good morning, Melon! But we'll pass around 2.5k as Rampart. Uh... Around 2.5. As Rampart is cool, yeah. I took Artifact, which is probably inferior to resources, but um... Not that much. It's gonna be fine. May the egg bless you all. May the egg? Or does the... But you're the egg! You're like, may I bless you all? I mean, you may. Are you gonna? <laughs> hey, for Verge. I have Demon Horseshoe, which is kind of whatever. Hmm... Hey, smart doll. Hey, Mercy. So, uh, right now I can go down all immediately. And it's gonna be like a keep. I have my scrolls in pretty good locations and everything like that. Uh, my wood is actually in a good location too. Uh, yeah. Um, sure. May the eggs bless us all, yeah. One on one. Okay, unfortunate. The opponent resets. Um, so it goes. I serve the egg. Merely a beautiful fragment on, uh, of its pristine shell. Okay, okay, I see. Mm, I guess it's gonna be keep. Yeah, it's a keep. Uh, because I have like all wood and scrolls and some knowledge all in decent enough locations, so it's gonna be, yeah. Okay, then let's make sure to save out the timer because we're gonna be needing it. We're gonna be playing a late game kind of, ma kind of match, which we are intending to do. So there we go. Hey, these pumpkins. Hey, Dot88. Let's see you playing other factions too. Yeah. Victor fucking opinion league. Holy shit, 95% uh, win rate on him currently and still climbing. Oh, hell yeah. Sounds good. I mean, I really, whenever I play these kind of MOBA games, I really like grinding a single champion. Not because it's like the most effective to do, but just because it's like a lot of fun to, yeah, do that. For me, it's been voice bird on Dota. Hell yeah. I don't know how long I'll be in this phase. Hey, Tosky. So, what do we do? We're gonna be building up the Vibrance immediately? Yeah, we may as well. There's... I don't really think there's a downside to doing this. Anyway, I didn't uh, take the nulls on this turn, because I wanted to... Yeah, delay it by a little bit. Because that has some benefit to me. That's only 58 go um, nulls, by the way. It's not a lot of army. Then, if I TP back, I shouldn't be leaving this turn anyway. So, I think I should be buying out a mage gold. Yeah, let's do that. Then, we leave day 4 with like, a pretty good amount of army, and also like full mana. Not bad, not bad. It will most certainly do. Let's go. Wait, yeah? What up? Hey, Kuro Kanade. Hmm, Kuro Dark Kanade. Um, Angel Beats? That's the one that I think of immediately. Anyway. Let you playing Hild Brada. Yeah, I actually been enjoying some Fortress. It's been a nice breath of fresh air. Um, yeah. 
Let's go. Attack skill. I'm um, not very um. Not very good. If I go here, it's like 300. I guess it should be. Um, hmm. It's better to walk up to here. No, but. The best case scenario is if I walk here and then DD north. No, actually, the best case scenario is exactly this. Because then I still have another DD for next turn, and I that means I can use the extra moons to collect like things here while also reaching the town in with decent timing as well. Uh, which is amazing and probably exactly what we want to do. Hell yeah! Let's go! Hmm. Hey, Sanka! Why such a late stream? Because we're gonna be streaming for a long time today, and I didn't want my voice to die, so I took like an hour extra, okay? Um, off of stream. Uh, because the, the 2030 CAT, we're gonna be having like a series starting, okay? So that's just like starting pretty late, uh, past my usual stream end time. And then we're gonna be uh, casting like an entire best of three from that point onwards, imagine. Uh, so yeah. It's gonna be a lot of content today. So no complaints about a slightly late stream. I think I should go here. Yeah. Connect. Air magics. Hell yeah. Um, that is amazing. So that is already a pretty good start. We see one of my vibrant nests already. And of course we want to get way more of them as well. There's a lot of experience here, so I'm not sure if I should DD here immediately or like do something else. I guess we'll see as we go. Yep, yep. Double DD time! Not quite yet, but um soonish, yeah. Having air magics immediately is like, um, yeah, just a very strong thing to have. Long, hard stream. Yeah. My team was tilting, I roamed this victor, got my team to bring up the experience. I ended up 24 7 6 with 24 out of 50 kills, so yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, go. Uh, this, this. Okay. Hey, Katia. Mr. Lakeshop, how's it going? Hey, Gova! It's going pretty good. I mean, so far, we have a nice trade and a nice game. Uh, please don't do the Vibrance. Please, 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 please. Thank you. Such nice Vibrance. I like them. Nice. Then I'm gonna go in this direction for sure. Let's go. Well, I got an ad. I got more just now. Big old man. <laughs> um, consider subscribing. Uh, subscribers get the ads. Ah, uh, but yeah, I have like a few um, ads actually enabled right now. Um, you know, no sub ads and not like that much, I think. Anyhow, big man. Hey, Josh. Jim. Grrr. <laughs> Then, I think I'm just gonna be moving north. Matthew, appreciate yourself, thank you. How nice. I'm gonna be able to get the arena and then get the side down too at the same time. Well, maybe not at the same time, but yeah. I'm gonna be able to double build, but I only have like one barn dwelling uh, flag quite yet. I mean, so far. I wonder if I can do the town and still the barn dwelling on the same turn. That would be amazing. I think I can. I go here, go here, and you access the dwelling from the left side, so I need to do the onto this side, because that's pretty easy. Do you have the gold? Yes, I do have the gold, I think. And I don't need the manners right now, so I need to stand... Ooh, I can even take this one. Right? For gold or for XP? XP. Oh, uh, perfection. Then let's buy up the other Vibrantness, so I'm double, yeah, so I've like two Vibrant Dwellings and also I'm double building and also I have four towns and like pretty good hero development so far. So the game's going pretty well, though we don't see any lizards quite yet, which is unfortunate. Um, usually a big part of a good uh, fortress game is a big stack of good old lizards, but this time, yeah, we don't really have it. Shame. Ooh, I made a mistake. My positioning here is a little bit flawed, but it's okay. The violence to cure all flaws. 
про смерть. Anyway. Uh, we're gonna be having this. Okay. And keep your bomb in a spaz day four. <laughs> Shut up. What do you mean? I know exactly what you mean, but anyway. Ah, uh, 12. Okay, I think I should be going for the... Um, a boss over here. It could be lizards after all. Uh, is it likely to be lizards? I'm not sure how likely. Oh my God, I need to move this here. I'm not your friend. Wow. Uh, Mark and Liv. Appreciate yourself. Thank you. I should be going here, should be waiting. Blocking. Mm-hmm. When the vibrant said, the how much time did they retaliate with five? Okay, then whatever. Get here. Ooh, minus one after all. Oh man. Losing a whiff feels bad, man. Um, yeah. Maybe the Northern Whiff could have done more. Yeah, to be honest, I should have done more with the Northern Whiff. I would be going to Frozon. That sounds like a comfy town. Sounds like fairies! Hmm, Frozon. Then maybe I'm going for the wood and then keep you back in the main. Or I could be going for the Earth Magician over there. No, actually, I'll level up in the Earth Magician, it's fine. Uh, my level is 7, so I'm not that many levels away from the library, and of course I'm gonna be sacking up my lizards sometime soon as well. Uh, which is epic and awesome and everything like that. Actually, I kinda wanted the shield. I can still get it, if I skip most of the other things. Ooh. Um, that's a big thing to ask for. I mean, a bit, you know, just a big thing to ask for. And even then, I'm not guaranteed to go into the uh, fortress town. Well, actually, I'm kinda guaranteed. So I got some wood, and now I'm getting the shield, and that's gonna be my turn. It's not an amazing turn. I'm also getting some scouting done, I guess. Copium. Sure. Where's the army? Let's see in towns. So, uh, there's many, many vibrants to be bought, and that's actually most of my army right now, and I'm gonna be getting like, a lot more as well. It's not bad whatsoever. It's the expected outcome of a fortress game so far. And not a bad one at all. Yeah, that my stuff are pretty good. I get the I go back to main town and I can upgrade all the lizards. So that's like a pretty decent lizard stack, and that's a pretty decent vibe stack as well. Well, I mean it could be more, but it will be more, so no problem. Uh Lexi being rude, yeah. Maybe. Uh yeah, finally you're late today. Hey, Red Wartsy. Mm-hmm. I should be leveling up from the treasury, then get enough, um... Well, no, even if I don't level up from treasury, I'm gonna be getting enough XP by... Uh, by doing the evil eyes immediately after, which is exactly the plan. I shouldn't be losing any army here. We need, like, a lot of meat to bleed for, like, the other fights, so... Uh, bleeding here is gonna be unacceptable. Uh, yep, let's go. Other hero streams, fancy to come to Lexi. My pleasure, Angry Chicken. Mm, we should be kiting a little bit. Nice. I think we should be going like this, yeah? Uh, that was actually a perfect battle. Exactly what I would expect to be good. Lizard Warriors! Wait, can I do this one? I don't think I can. Yeah, I can. If I want to pick up the box here. I either pick this box or the Nagabang. And I think it's gonna be the box after all. And I'm really hoping to level up here. Again. If I don't, then it's kind of troublesome for me. Okay, didn't lose a lizard. I mean, um, vibrant quite. Yeah, that's good. Good. 
Okay, perfect. Oh, the bomb, see? I said no skip load today. Then we took out the, but like a bunch of stats, a bunch of army. Now we have like many lizards, so our heroes way better. Um, nice. Really good stuff. Um, so if we have like a few more turns like that, then we're gonna be like so strong. Then we can also get the marketplaces, we can trade and so on. With an auto? No, we didn't lose any vibrance, and the auto lost vibrance, right? <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Oh, the first of the other webness. I want the uh, six of them at the by the end of this week, which means that I have to do it like at least a few per day, which is gonna be like probably no problem, right? Uh, I can also summon through the uh, portal summoning. That's gonna be cool. I like that. Um. <laughs> I should be buying out the last of the marketplaces. I think it was here that I didn't get one. Um, then using that, we should be training up the mage kill. And then we should be buying out the man of vortex, so I don't have to return to the base as often as I otherwise would. Uh, yep. You see, the role of a patch is to bring back life to the game, and if it does nothing, like if it's a neutral patch and like it remains the same, the spirit of the game and the community goes down by quite a bit, and you can see that right now, because the patch didn't do a lot, so people are like, well, I was waiting for like, uh, something good, and then basically nothing happened, and so people are kind of disappointed. It kind of feel feels like that, to me. I don't really mind it that much, though. Mm, okay, let's go, Man of Vortex. And then, like this. No. <laughs> yeah. A Lizardo Man. Amazing. I never played Dota, but I am playing their uh, competitive counterpart. Uh, League of Legends, eh? I spent, uh, yeah, it was actually High Diamond in the League of Legends too. I spent, like, a lot of time there. Um, currently, Dota's the one for me, though. Currently. Oh, I found another... Okay, thank you, Manticores. You have brought me to where I need to be. Are you kidding me? Well, I mean, okay, that only cost me a few notes, whatever, right? <laughs> um, Gladru. Do you want to go to Gladru? Not exactly. Yeah, if I said I want to go to Glade route, I'd be lying. So, I'm gonna be able to go back. Actually, I can go into the other town over here. No, actually... Mm. For now, I'm just wondering if I should be doing the Utopia or not. And also if I'm gonna be buying out the Earth Mines. And I think the answer to both of them is yes, actually. And am I fine with like five with dwellings instead of six? I think the answer to all of these questions is actually yes. Am I yes, man? Nah. No. Well, actually, kinda, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I need to go back into main. In order to do so, the most effective leg, I guess I should go here, then TP. Actually, yeah, TP. Then uh, we can upgrade the rest of the lizards. And we can also upgrade the witness, too. No, actually, we shouldn't. Oh, kinda should, but kinda shouldn't. I don't know. Uh, we should buy out the spellbook, that's for sure. Then I should get the sword and then I should go Utopia. I think that's what I should do. And if I'm doing that, then I honestly I should upgrade the Wyverns, because I should be mo the most powerful for this fight, rather than any other fight. Because this is going to be like the crucial one, you know? And I don't have to fly this turn, so I can save the mana. And then also, training up the Mage Guild in here, so I can build out... Ooh. Uh, yeah, training this up is gonna be worth it. So I can buy the Earth Matters next turn, uh, which is also gonna be, like, really important. Let's go. This is gonna get focused, I think. No, um, the thing that is gonna get focused is because, you see, because I have a range pile stack, um, they will definitely want to block the range pile stack, so I'm gonna be placing meat next to the range pile stack, so they will get actually focused in, uh, instead. So all that should turn out pretty well, in my opinion, even if it is a tier 3, Monkos. Um, here and here. So these are the two meat signs that are gonna get focused, and, uh, yeah, let's go. As you can see, uh, the meat next to the Lizard Warriors are getting focused, exactly, while the Lizard Warriors are even avoiding the damage. Um, all of that is amazing. Uh, I think blessing these, even if they're blocked, is gonna be, like, the most amount of value that I can get. One, it's gonna be a deterrent from the dragons hitting them, and two, it's a lot of damage. 
think I should go here. Yep, that way we get to shoot even. Nice! Goodbye. Now, we did get hit quite a bit, but whatever. <laughs> Earth Magician? Ooh, 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 but like... Okay, Earth Magician. Um, it basically makes me... makes it a little bit easier for me to navigate uh, the map, and also we get even more mindsets. Imagine. So right now we're really powerful. We just did a tier 3 Utopia on week 2, and now we actually can DP a run as well. Amazing. Uh, what a great situation to be in. Then we pick up all the whip earns on the new week, and then we can just like go ahead and win the game. Um, I say it if it's that simple. And it actually is that simple, we're winning the game. Let's go. Uh, can I DD take the beat? Yes, I can. Um, so we should do that. Wow, expert. Magician. So I can DP twice, what should I do? Actually, honestly, I should just send this town over here. Because I don't want to build a new mage guild. Uh, it, take, it would take a, like, a little while to trade anyway. Uh, yep. That would be very... Correct. Then I should go up to this town. Lots of this, some lizards, some meat. Then also pick up the ones from here. But if one's gonna be flying, pick up the vortex. Actually, I could have saved the vortex for like a little bit. Actually, that little bit of mana is not worth the timer even. Oh, uh, so yeah, 39 whiffs, 230 lizard warriors. Hell yeah, that's amazing. Uh, then they're gonna be going to break over here. Um. Oh, uh, wait, that's um. Oh man, that's a lizard box. No, I should just go break. Oh, hello. Well, not right now. Right now we go break. Mm-hmm. Uh, kill the content per usual. Hey, do you mean? Appreciate yourself, thank you. Well. Um... Here? Oh yeah, we got the Earth Dome as well. Kind of interesting. So, are we making a claim towards the Middle Town? Ooh, Ring of Vitality. Um, Elixir is like notoriously good for Fortress, of course. So, having that available is kind of cool. Am I just making fast? Yeah, I should just make fast and skip the turn and like not waste any more turn timer. I should not even build much, but it should be actually filling out the marketplaces. So, I can get like one to one trading ratio. So, I'm gonna be like way better off in terms of economy. I think the last one is over here. Yeah, that makes my ratios one to one. Yeah, cool. By the way, when I say one to one ratios, you can't like trade resources one to one, but you can trade like precious resource to non precious resource at a one to one ratio. And that is a big power spike in terms of marketplaces. You get that when you get like six marketplaces. So, six marketplaces is something that you should be looking to achieve like every single game at least. Then the value caps out at nine marketplaces. So, when you get up to nine, you don't really have to build anymore for any reason. Uh, by the way, we see a Hydro Break over here. Dragons are better. Well, kind of, but the availability is going to be a concern as well. Then, uh, as I said, Silo and Silo. This is happening pretty much every single time. Then I have the 1 to do 1 ratio. I'm going to be building up a market, I mean a tavern, so I can see the opponent's stats. I can evaluate the situation a little bit better. Uh, the opponent's doing fine. It's not amazing, it's fine. Uh, this might be Black Dragons, by the way. Um, this boss right now. That would be amazing. And speaking of amazing, our amount of damage is amazing. Holy. I think Force Real is cute. Ooh, woo. Oh, Black Dragoons. If I'm DD here to the sex, I have to... Eh, I'll just DD here, whatever. Um, Tabar, that's cool. This game looks interesting. Is there an active community for multiplayer or or, or only single player? Uh, an active community for multiplayer in like many templates and formats as well. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, we have the online lobby that we can play in and ladder in. And uh, if you're if you've been looking at my content for at least uh, like a little while, I've been only playing um, online matches exclusively for like a pretty long while. Well, not exclusively. I sometimes do like single player campaigns, but those are like um, rarity in comparison. <laughs> Archery tactics, yeah, the fable worst level up. 
I really want to get this cornucopium, so I'm going to be sitting here and waiting. Biding my time. For the right time to strike. Hell yeah. Um, I should be equipping the Orbisil. I have like a pretty good meter shop at this point. And we also have the, like, the Black Dragons coming in. Don't want the Cylon, not really. Okay, pass the turn. Um, don't waste turn timer. We see the SOJ over there. I might actually want to get it. Or I should be going towards mid with this mana pool. I'm not really sure. Oh, actually, this is a castle side down. Join with us at SOJ. Ooh, that's something. Yeah, that's something. I bought the Steam version. Kick the for you. How dare you. <laughs> wow. A bit of Polish. Oh. <laughs> uh, these guys are fighting. I would have to dismiss them to take it. Ooh. Maybe I don't want the SOJ. Just for that reason, then. That could be a thing. Hey, new glasses. Yeah, it's lovely. Hey, hey. I'm gonna be baiting all of them in. And then we strike them down. I don't know if I can reach the town, but I will try. And yes, I'm leaving the uh, Vyrans B. Because I really will. Oh. Well, I have Utopia Mead. Wow. Hey, one move away. Uh, the opponent's not pushing mid either. Mm, interesting. Would you join now? No. The filthy mummies did little to convince them. One to one ratio means we can trade pretty well, and yeah, we do wanna. Um, we will be flying every single. Um, every single little thing here. Then we also wanna be. No, that's good. Yeah, we want to be equipping the um, Cornucopium. Nice. So right now, the best next item would be the Goose, I guess. Uh, yep. <laughs> Honestly, my last army yesterday looked like they did pay me to join me. Because that's the only way I would accept such an army. <laughs> Whatever. I should be worried about my mana pool right now. Okay, then back over to Middleheim, and we're gonna be building stuff up here. I need a lot of wood. A blacksmith, a basilisk pit, and basilisk pit. So yeah, now we're ready for the hydroponds, which is gonna be like not that expensive at all, I believe. Then he's pushing men with stats that are pretty good, I guess. Oh, then again, securing a good skill tree is pretty important. And I can no longer get the archery tactics level up. <laughs> I, I saved myself from the, that level up, okay? Amazing. Um, please over there. I don't want the mummies to be with me. I think I should go over to Proton. I should buy out the... Magic University. I should buy out the Water Magic. Then I should continue building up with the stables. And then we can go more. And into the other desert town. Uh, I think I want the Vile. And we can find. Uh, we still need experience anyway. I didn't split. Oops. If I take both the side zones, that would be amazing for me. Ooh, that would be spicy, actually. Hmm. Uh, do we see him? Wow, he's heading over here. I'm gonna be heading in that direction, too. Oh, both rings in one spawn. Yeah, that's pretty good.
Uh, can't really do anything else. I'm really not looking for a fight with the opponent. Oh, this was the stable stone, possibly? Eh, whatever. Almost all the same. Uh, sure. Oh, you mean maybe the Hydras? Wait, I'm actually... I should be double building Hydras, and I should be flying lots of them, too. Wait, actually, yeah, this time is gonna be dedicated to Hydras exclusively. Um, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Uh, do I have any artists to sell? Only, like, a little bit. I'm gonna... No, actually, no, let's not do that. Hmm... I'm gonna be buying up the Hydras as we go, though, right? I'm gonna be able to flag at least three, possibly four. Let's see. Okay, so I can do this one. Should I move? No, I should do. Um, and then which one? Oh, the Viral Nest. Yeah, I guess I'm getting the Viral Nest. Viral Nest is still more important. Um, Hydra can be like the long term solution, but um, short term we need the um. Vibrance for sure. And long time too, I mean. Yeah, they're just amazing. Uh-huh. So there's nothing else left to do. Basically. And well, I mean, no, there is left something left to do, and that's the fact that we have to buy out the actual hydras. Um, okay, that's good for wood. And that is good for the ore, and um wait, gold, is it gonna be fine? Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Ah, uh, there we go, we can build both of them. That's one Hydra Pawn, and that's uh, the Hydra Pawn. And now we have a bunch of Hydras building up. You see, like, I thought it would be a good amount of Hydras immediately, but it's gonna be definitely a good amount of Hydras long term. And that is what's important. It's amazing. Uh, yep, yep. <laughs> Why do cows? You can't have, like, the... Ah, they're really hard to invest into. Is he, like, coming at me diagonally? That would be pretty witch, huh? No, I think he's just, like, looking to farm this side of the desert, honestly. Let's try. I guess I'm looking to deny away from him. Ooh, look at that. Also, my side of the desert is pretty lucky, not gonna lie. Uh, we have the goose over here, too. Uh, then Middleheim here, Mage Guild, amazing. I mean... If he kills them, whatever. I mean, I would be sad, but whatever. Three creatures with flame. Mm. Bye. 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 Mm. I can't level too simple for them. But I think they're not gonna be joining. Whenever it's gonna be like that hard, they're usually not joining. Eh. Did I equip them? Oh, I did equip them. Okay, cool. Seven power. I will not get any power this game, by the way. Well, I mean, I will eventually get some power from either libraries or, like, all stat items, but I'm, I'm just not deliberately not getting any power. I just don't want any. Mm, he's all the way over here, and that's okay. I mean, we should probably evacuate our army, though. So, we should probably go here first. <laughs> I mean, someone is not getting evacuated, by the way. Can you guess Sue? <laughs> <laughs> this lost for you, but I'm not gonna use them for you. <laughs> Sorry, boy, you're pathetic. I also should have seen it come should have seen it come if it's usually like this. But whatever. I mean if it doesn't contest the side zones and I get like both the bunkers, like damn, that's pretty good for me. I'm taking Utopias, I'm doing diplomacy, I'm getting like more RTs. It's all good for me. 
I still don't even have. Oh wait, there was a lot of them here. Well, lots. Men of the sea. Uh oh. Oh, and the thumb water magic too. Not bad. Pretty good top count. I guess I should be picking up the war attacks, that's one thing. Uh, the Hydrant. And then, honestly, Artemisions. Hmm... I'm looking for libraries, I'm looking for permastats, all uh, the kind of items I'm looking for. Kuras, actually. His armor is not good. Wait, I cannot reach with visions? Okay, whatever. Mm. Water Tom, that's I mean Air Tom, that's really good. Uh anything next to here that's relevant. Um no 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 Let's head in this direction. Oh hi oh Hydrant Hey. <laughs> Wait, that's pretty good. Then maybe I can get the Azura too. Damn, that's amazing. <laughs> Wait, he's flagging my vibrance. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Wait, what is wrong with you? Who does that to a person? <laughs> what? Anyway, hi, drums. Ooh. Oh, naturally, yeah, they're Azers. I mean, there is an Azor. <laughs> is? <laughs> 30 Hydrants. Damn! Hydrants assassinate! I have to miss morale. Uh, here we go. Mm hmm. That's whatever. I don't know if it'll ever be useful. Probably not. And that's also okay. Then I will want to um get this, get this, get this. Um, yeah. Uh, twenty six hundred moves. I think I could. And then upgrade. And then, like, stand and fight by that point. Mm, with air orb, water tome. Not that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're claiming back our homeland. Um, let's go. Then, press on. I also need a marketplace over here for more uh, for better resource trading. Um, 1 to 2 ratio is not ideal, but whatever. Then this and this, it basically covers the resources. Then I only need the gold. I have two of these. I will be looking for the fight soon, so I don't care about the um, duplicate artifacts. I don't think I care about the water tome either. I think that's gonna be about good enough. I might be a little bit wrong, but oh well. Uh, then yeah, upgrade the hydrants. Upgrade the hydrants! And I could get out as well, actually. Uh, but no, we're looking to stand and fight, I think. Mm, this, this, and this is gonna be the equipment. 
Wow, I'm missing like a lot of slots. Oh. I can't even see the stats anymore. Oh well. Only 19 power, but I have like a lot of fighting ability. So that's pretty amazing. 30 chaos hydrants. Put back your items. Yeah, I mean, the items are good. Well, tab art, did I sell a tab art or did, or did I never have it? I wonder. Dude, getting this power package would be real nice. But if I didn't get the sell... Oh no, he couldn't have gotten both these stones at the same turn. Maybe he should have went for it. He goes min, so will he be letting me reclaim all these towns, I wonder? I mean, I'm gonna be getting them before the start of the new week anyway, so that's like really, really good for me. But he would also get to red rush me. Wait, red rush would be guaranteed, because he can just buy up the army and get a little go from one of these towns. But at the same time, I don't feel like he has any sort of, uh... Yeah, it's actually not that good for him, because he doesn't have a lot of army to buy in the first place. Oh, okay. He goes now. So I get Speed Prior and I get to assassinate him immediately, basically. Nice. I have 30 attack versus 35 defense. Okay. By the way, the tactics here are gonna be amazing. Uh, these guys are gonna be Speed 13. Okay, the Virus will probably kill the Black Giants. I'm not really sure if I have the damage to kill, but... They will sure as hell try. Mm, doesn't have speed. Morale neutral. My one is plus one. Okay. Good luck, Panaka. Thank you, Jermaine. And yeah, let's go. I'm very excited for this one. Uh, so this is basically might versus magic right now. Actually, I think that this is gonna be like pretty interesting. Uh, this will apply like far more pressure. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm I like that. Then also this over here. Oh, this will hold. Hmm. These guys are of course reaching. Pretty much no matter what. Then my cast is Sprayer! I don't know how much damage they do, but oh well. Hmm, not enough damage to get the to get the hydrants to count to move before they get chained. Oh. Well, anyway, this is happening. Let's see if your casting will be able to match up against my mighty forces. If you were to summon like gear, that would be the best case scenario for me. <laughs> Imagine how good that would be. Oh my god. Then I could like just triple hit immediately. Mm, would be beautiful. Uh, so I'm expecting a chain either on the Hydrons or the list of warriors, by the way. That's probably gonna be, you yeah, know, there. He won't cast now, but wait instead, and then his Pegasi will be feared. Mm, but I mean, I mean, I get to move with the Black Giants. Then again, I don't get to influence much with this anyway. Uh, but yeah, I have the fear mechanic as well for me. Yeah, the fear might just end up being quite relevant. They're in the middle of the enemy forces, which means that the dragon is both exposed, but also he's protected at the same time because of this. Um, yeah. Ooh, actually the Azer could get, um, you know what would be pretty bad? Uh, pretty, it would be pretty bad if he were to hypnotize the Azur. Yeah, hypnotize would be something. Have five times uh, different stacks of Azer in your enemy, does that increase the fear chance by five times percent? Uh, oh, by five times? No, it doesn't. Uh, the fear is either present on the battlefield, or it's not present. Having it present more times doesn't do anything. Hello, level 3, is it immune now? Oh yeah, it is. Oh yeah, it is immune. Of course. Yeah. Imagine fearing hypnotize on your ace dragon, like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> For some reason, I feel like I've had a hypnotized laser before, but that might have been a different template. Maybe like Little Cross. Surely he chains the hydrons, but he only kills like 10 hydrons with a chain. Do you think he treats that as a good enough cast? Because he's under a lot of pressure. I'm killing a lot of his arm. Oh! -ho -ho! The God Spot! <laughs> Lamal. Wait, no, he gets to move the soul pack aside though. Eh, it's not that good then. Oh, how about you get feared? Get feared. Don't move. Eh. 
Oh well. I get to kill a lot of the army here. Yeah, but he's just gonna be running around. And that's okay. I think this is going to be the play to make. I'm killing like so much army, these hydrants just did 4k damage! Damn! Oh my God, Wait, how does this a broken shot? Uh, the only unbroken one I have is this, I'll just take it I guess. Oh yeah, it's because I'm into the castle and I'm outside of it. I'm like, I felt entitled to shoot accurately into the castle. <laughs> because it's my castle, how can I not shoot accurately into it? These walls are... are mine. How dare you make a claim on them? Hmm... <laughs> Do I have Berserk? No, I don't. The sea protection? Probably not. I think I'm gonna start on this Pegasi. Jesus. I killed three, and I took so much damage for it. Oh my, that wasn't worth it. Anyway, let's put me safe against these Black Dragons. Hmm. How much was my chain kill? 88 of them. Hmm, not a lot. So probably my best cast, by the way. This hits the other side. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Hmm. Wait, I was supposed to not rough them, but whatever. Wait, I think that... Bless? I mean, bless is something. No, it's gonna be not as good. I feel like I hit here, like this, and then I chain the elementals, because that pressure is lethal unless he summons again, and if he summons again, then I'm like just out damaging him with raw units. And that's pretty good. Are you- Ah! Anger! Anger! Dude, dude I have morale too. On oh, no. I could have morale after the unlock, or like, I could have liked the not unlock. Uh, I should have just rolled higher. Oh, actually, he just skips anyway. Hmm, interesting. I feel like it's a chain here. He can chain those, he can. Speed 13. Hmm. Am I? Dude, these pegs are, are so annoying. I really want to chain. But if it bounces to Vibrance, it's bad. If it bounces to Minos, it's pretty good. Because then only the 4 bounce will hit me. There's no way to Lightning Rod this, it's 50 50. Uh, Cloud Hydra is lethal. No, the Hydra doesn't do that much damage. It deals like 2k, so it deals like less to, the, to these than the other ones. Not to mention they might get chained before that happens as well. Or maybe Burst Strike, we'll see. And not to mean, I mean, I have to clone uh, the Hydras on like a very specific turn as well. I have to do it after the Mono Kings. Or I have to kill the Mono Kings with the attack. But then the clone will actually block me. I'm not sure which way the clones can be played. No, they're kind of fast. They can walk around. I'm thinking about it, but. Hmm. <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see. I really like this position, by the way. This little uh, Lizard Fort just feels pretty good. <laughs> The lizard for it. Let's go. <laughs> it's such a silly little thing, but I love it. I love my little lizard for it. Hmm, okay. 
Bless is pretty good. Yeah, Bless is pretty good. I think I'll do that. Clone is worse. Clone is dealing 2k damage. It kills like only 70. Now, granted, I could kill this. Yeah, because of this move is available, the other one moved, uh, moved that never makes sense. So yeah, go here, then probably chain north. Yeah, go here, chain north. Oh, but if the black giants are dead, it'll be so much better. Bless is delay, but why? I, by the way, I don't have over permanence, mind you. This, 90, uh, 65. Actually, this does a lot of damage. Like, immediately, and then it has some long-term solutions. Oh, I think I'll bless. Uh, the fact that we're not accurating. Accurate! Mm, I think I'll wait. No, I should shoot here, because they, they're gonna be collapsing on my Vibrance, I think. Then again, that's not smart. Because then I would get, like, a double Hydrant hit on them. And that would be huge. Do I have to shoot this? Not really. Oh, actually, you know what I think I'll do? <laughs> Why? Why can nothing ever go my way? It's okay, I'm freezing them. I'm, 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 I'm just, like, pulling luck for this moment right now. Boom! Woo! Out of the game, bro! Yeah! I'm pretty sure that's lethal now. There's no way that's not lethal anymore. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Got him. Oh my god. That's just minus a cast from him from like one of my side stacks. That's so good. That is just so good. Anyway, that, nowadays you can move. The Vibrants can kill the Pegasi. Then the Hydrants almost kill the Elementals, probably along with the help of Black Dragons or the Medusas, they will be able to do so. Whoa. Nasty. What if I froze those too, you know? My, don't rush me with my Bidisas. Oh, he actually gave me the Z. Oh, because he wants me to hit here. Huh, interesting. <laughs> hmm. I don't think I'll hit with this. Well, then again, if I'm expecting lethal, then I should. These will kill. No, yeah, I should just hit here, actually. Why every time unlock? 46 only? Whoa, I'm not killing these. I should kill these though. But I'm not. Uh, bleh. 787, 20 plus 46. <laughs> You're kidding me? You're actually kidding me, aren't you? Oh, you know, bl the Black Dragon can help. So, it might be lethal, but probably not lethal. Eh, I'm okay with that. Just do it anyway. Hmm. No, wait, I should hit first, so to see if I unlock or morale. Okay. No, unlock no morale. There's one remaining. <laughs> no, I think I'm. Yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Woo! Out of the game! Out of the game! It's really good that I don't have towers, by the way. Ah, oh, so I can just, like, prep another turn now. Yeah, I could use this turn to just prep something. Or I could just, like, chain and kill. Yeah, just chain and kill. It's fine. There's no way I missed this. Boom! Yeah! Hydrant power! Night over magic! Let's go! Hell yeah! Hell yeah. <laughs> he didn't even kill any of the Hydra, but the fight was actually still really close. Because if he got like the upper hand there and started like summoning a lot, it would have been very, very dangerous for me. Yeah. Uh, thanks to GG's. Got him! What now, filthy mage? <laughs> hey, said Lyrics. A little bit of power, so what? Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> Oh, that was so good. And that freeze was so good from the Medusas. Oh my god, Medusas' favorite unit. Hell yeah.
That's amazing. That's amazing. It's so, so nice. <laughs> the egg indeed blessed his game. Hell yeah. Ah, uh, wait, I want to check something. Uh, CT is uh, one hour before me. So we're going to be playing at uh, 9... I mean, we're going to be having the series at 9.30. Um, 9.30 is going to be in about four hours from now. A little bit more, even. Wow. Yeah, so it's going to be like a long stream. I am excitement. I am excitement right now. I think Aaron Chain should be removed. But you saw Water Wind just now against that, right? And you're like, it should be removed. Ah, I think it's fine. Maybe. And that bless, holy. How did you come up with bless idea, Pog? I mean, I was considering everything myself. So, um... Next? Move everything except Goblin. Goblin? Why Goblin? Goblin then will be like the most overpowered thing to exist, right? Then you should remove the Goblin too. 